guys gals Ted from Pew View Farms here what you got here is the herd coming up to get their water I'm gonna get out of their way huh honey huh oh, babies <clears throat> they're getting watered this morning um, there was a half a tub of water last night so I figured I'd let them finish it up and uh, basically We'll top it off this morning because I knew I had the morning off. Well, they're all single file one by one. Usually the calves are last and they come a running. Huh, crazy bee. Cows are looking good this year. Um, like I said, I wish I knew when this one was going to have her calf. Uh, you know, she's not really swelled up or anything yet. Uh, she's got somewhat of a bag. Um, I did bump a calf in her, so I do know that she has a calf. Uh, her, that's the one, she lost her calf this year. Let's see what we got going on here. Big bull, huh, big bull. Her, she did not have a calf yet. And I am assuming that she does. I don't remember bumping one on her. She had a calf. This is a good way, too, to kind of just do a good check on the animals and see how everybody's doing. There's a little bull. Say hi, little bull. She had a calf. She did not have a calf this year. And I believe, uh, I don't know if that was our cow Bella. I don't know if I bumped a calf in her. Her, in general, she doesn't really look like she may be carrying. But I could be so totally wrong. And there's the calves from this year. Huh, honey. Then we got Big Mama, who I definitely bumped a calf in her. The flies are horrible this year. Um, we have sprayed these guys twice now with uh, over-the-counter stuff from Tractor Supply. And it just doesn't seem to be doing the trick. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff out there. But, uh, yeah, I was out here the other day, and I went up to Big Mama, and... Uh, you could feel that calf poking right out of her side, which doesn't mean anything. Doesn't give me an idea when. So, not really sure. <laughs> Who knows? As long as they don't come when snow flies, I guess. Hi, huh, kids. Hi, huh, kids. What are you doing? The only mistake we made this year that I wish I would have done is uh, one with the yellow tag right there. I think we call him Johnny slash Johnny's Lunch. That would be our next beef for our freezer, because we always keep one steer over. He was never steered. We never banded him when we had him on the home farm. So he is still technically a bull. So hopefully once we get these animals back over to the main farm, I'm thinking around the end of October. I tell you what, we're heading into the 1st of September here after the end of the weekend. And... Uh, Pastures are still growing decent. Uh, these guys just came off. You no, know, this has had a two-week set. Two, three. Not quite. This has almost had a three-week set, and it's spotty. But as you can see, I mean, we are getting good green grass growing. So, and these guys won't be in this pasture here till two more weeks. So our pastures are still growing better this year uh, the rotation program that we decided to use is working really well 
Um, we've always done something similar, but I'm just rotating more frequently around here. And it really seems to be helping. And when it's all said and done, too, I come through with the brush hog. And uh, as you can see, this was the last paddock right over here that uh, the cows ended up coming out of. And uh, this paddock just got brush hogged. So I've been hitting them with the brush hog, trying to knock the tall, taller weeds down, the undesirable uh, feed that they don't eat, and really seems to help. It just helps to really green things up, and it just seems like we get more and more grass each and every time I do it. So you can see the stock trailers down there. If you guys watch the video probably before this, depends on how I post these, that was a stock trailer that we had for the free range slash freeloader cow. She was in this fence. She broke into this fence. I ended up fixing it, closing gates, keeping her in here for the night. And this is the one she broke out of through the woods. She went through three different fences, and that was a chore. But we were kind of hoping with the stock trailer, if we put grain in there, maybe we could get her, just her in general, just to sneak up in there, and we could sneak and close the door. But uh, did not work. And, uh, she just rather uh, go through fences. So, well, we're just over here in the morning, like I said, watering these guys. Um, seems to work. Uh, like I said, I really wanted to do the water line here this year, and uh, it did not happen. Um, there's still time. Yes, there's still time to, you know, put some water line in here. So there's water to each individual paddock, and it'll happen next year. Probably not going to happen this year. be honest with you, if you're looking straight down in there this whole area right up in there it goes down to well you see that little well right there all the way back to the road and it's just a piece that that has no fence around it and it's crazy because it's a little over two acres i think it's two and a half acres almost three acres in there that's not fenced in and i already have the hard work done i have two sides already built all i have to do is build our two sides and that is a nice three, four day area right there for the animals to go in and out of and help clean up that section of woods, the locusts and stuff like that. So I would really like to concentrate after we get all of our hay done, wet hay and dry hay, to jump in there, drive some poles and maybe let that, you know, let them get in there at least once this year. Get it fertilized and uh, that'll be a nice little addition to the paddock system that we have here. So I'm just over here, I'm kind of in the video mode this morning. Like I said, I've already done one update video for you guys, so. <laughs> yes, I know. I know, babies. It looks like the water tub is full. Usually what I do is I let them come here and drink, and once they all get their thirst quench out of the way, uh, I'll just top it right off before I leave, so. That being said, guys, uh, if you enjoy this video, uh, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you already haven't. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon.